Hey, yay, 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 yay. What is good with y'all tonight? And welcome to something kind of new. It's called Storytime Sunday. Because I just have to think of something. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do Storytime Sunday. Because I have a catalog of very crazy stories. Some funny. Some crazy. Some inspirational. Some kind of twisted. And some of them just not good, period. But <clears throat> I don't mind telling you all of them because I just don't care. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a few of them because I got a lot of them. But this story time Sunday, I'm going to begin with, well, the second one. I don't know if I did this. I did a story time, but yeah, we, we'll get past that. But anyway, y'all, first official story time Sunday. This one is how... I lost my virginity because of a bet. You heard me right. I lost my virginity because of a bet. Um, it was back when I was probably about 14. Me and my homeboy, Deion Charles, from the South Side. Shout out to my boy, Deion Charles. Big head, jug dude. Holla at me. Um, me and him, we was sitting at his crib one day. And... You know, us being little promiscuous kids, I was like, bro, you know what we should do? He was like, what? I'm like, man, we should have a competition to see who lose their virginity first. And whoever lose their virginity first, um, the other one got to pay him. Like, I think it was like $10 or something. Like a 10 or, yeah, I think it was like a 10 or $20 bet. It's like a $20 bet, I think. So, um, my home, my homeboy was like, I right, bet. Um, he was a little, he wasn't as, as outgoing as I was. I was shy when I was younger, but I was still outgoing. You know what I'm saying? I was just shy because I had a whole bunch to say, and I didn't know how to put it into the right sequence. So I basically just didn't want to go off the cuff saying stuff. But so... He wasn't really that type of to jump out, but I mean, I really wasn't either, but I was, as you know, reiterating that point. But so he was like, all right, bet. He already had a girlfriend. So, of course, like automatically, I didn't know, like, I lost the bet right then and there, because the only thing he had to do was just go call up his girlfriend. But we, he made a bet. He said, okay, cool, got you. You go ahead, and the first person to basically mess around with a girl get the um, get the, the twenty dollars. Matter of fact, no, no, he didn't have a girlfriend. I'm sorry, we was both young, we both single, and that's why we even made the bet. Uh, but yeah, so I um I just, I said I'm cool, cool. So we made the bet. Probably about. Two to three weeks later, I ended up, I'm not going to mention the girl's name, but I met up. I met this girl. She was like 20. The only reason I ain't going to mention her name because she was 20 and I was 14. And yeah. But I was cool with it. Um, she was hanging around a certain part of town. I ain't going to mention the part of town, but it was the east side. Sorry. I mentioned it. I don't care. It's the east side of my little hometown. Um, and she I was over there, over a friend's house, mutual friend's house. So I was like, this is my opportunity to win this bet. So I don't know what came over me. I just decided to, you know, start hollering at the girl. So I hollered at the girl. Wazzy Spiff, this, that, the third, Wazzy Wazzy, boo, boo, boo. You know what I'm saying? I, ain't, I don't remember what I said, all of it. So, you know, I was like, all right, cool. So probably like three weeks after that, uh, I was over at a friend house of mine, deep south side. The girl that I aforementioned had just happened to be out there. And she was like, yo. I'm finna just basically come kick it with you for a minute. Is that cool? I was like, uh, yeah. So, 
we'll fast forward the story because all the other parts is boring. Fast forward the story. <laughs> we we are on the couch at my friend's house. My intuition told me, get up off that couch um, and act like you know what you're doing. I didn't know what I was doing. I was a virgin. She wasn't a virgin, but I was. So how it popped off was she asked me a particular question that I did not have the right answer to, and she automatically knew I was a virgin. I couldn't even play it off. She was like, um, she said something. I'm, it's, it's X-rated, so I will not tell you here on YouTube, but um, it was something real X-rated, and I was like, blasey blasey and she was like nah you're a beginner let's go so long story short I lost my virginity when I was 14 to a 20 year old and I, as evidence I went back to my homeboy house with the girl that I lost my virginity to and we both <laughs> clarified it and I won a $20 bag but it was crazy. It was totally crazy because just that type of thing, doing that type of thing when I was younger, it's, you know, it's what make you and break. It was what make you, you know what I'm saying? So that being said, your boy died, lost his virginity because of a bet. And that is Storytime Sunday. Thank you, Nerd Gang Nation. Holler back at me. You already know.